grabbing like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. During on this, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that air get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell you my mindset. Hi, shout out to my guy Showtime SP, my partners over at Fox 5, and everybody that subscribes to this content and watches it, whether religiously or in passing. We are truly humbled and thankful that y'all continue to watch us. You know what I'm saying? Um, got a couple things to talk about. I'm going to talk about that foolishness at the end. Hey, watch this. Um, first and foremost, there's a couple of things going on in battle rap. Couture mentioned, I mean, um, Couture mentioned yesterday that her battle with Coffee Brown is not going to happen. Uh, I'm a, we'll wait around and see. She released a statement that said, I regret to inform you that I won't be participating on the canceled Christmas card, being that it is not on the original date I planned and agreed, unfortunately. The rescheduled date of the 8th conflicts with my prior commitments despite Remy's efforts to find a solution. It doesn't align with my current schedule and a preference of a live battle. I hope to battle my opponent in the near future. I haven't seen the excitement for a matchup and I'm sorry we couldn't make it happen this time. Always, I am humbled by your support. Couture. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I did speak to Coffee Brown momentarily yesterday. She's actually pretty distraught. She, you know what I'm saying? She wanted to battle Couture. She was preparing for two battles at the same time. So now she only has 40 bars. You know what I'm saying? I don't know all the logistics and I'm not going to speculate as to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't really feel like that's a thing to do. So moving on. Uh, shout out to everybody that, like I said, has been supporting, has been following the case and things like that. Sue Surf. Shout out to Sue Surf, Free Wave. Shout out to his family, his friends, you know what I'm saying, everything like that. I had a pretty good relationship with him, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really like talk about everything or put everything out or, or whatever the case may be, but I definitely had seen and had heard and was following the case through its inception, you know what I'm saying? Um, he did get sentenced to five years in prison for racketeering and firearms charges. Uh, the article reads, and I'll just read some of it. It says, uh, a member of the Rolling 60s neighborhood critics was sentenced to 60 months in prison for his role in a racketeering conspiracy while possessing firearms and ammunition as a convicted felon. Um, it says, Sue Surf, 32, of Newark, New Jersey, pleaded guilty before a federal judge. Uh, basically, you know, Sue Surf had came out, you know, originally. Uh, he started battle rapping, he picked up some steam, he got on URL, he was touring with Joe Buttons, he had went on to big URL stages, big cards, and became virtually a superstar in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? And I have to say this because there are some people who will come in and see this just off of the name and don't know everything about him, you know what I'm saying? Um, so he came out, he, he was dropping albums, he was doing music, he was uh, making moves in battle rap. <laughs> Jumping around pacing, it was a Michael Myers jumping in the mask off a jet, lock pick the door. Yeah. Stick my face in. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I honestly. That was 12 years ago. How the fuck I'm still amazing? For, for 10 plus years I've been. He became almost a mythical figure because he had a good talk game, like he could always talk, he could always be one of them cats that was at the forefront of the battle game. You know what I'm saying? And um He's a battle rapper, he gained crossover success. Uh, he had projects such as The Spiral, Until Further Notice, uh, Make Sure You Kill Me, Blood Cousins, 725, 2 a.m., The Newark Mixtape, Garden Grills, and he had a bunch of other videos, you know what I'm saying? He gained crossover notoriety by mixing greedy rhymes and hardcore production. Sue Surf Reps, New Jersey, Newark, carries the East Coast proud, you know, the sounds of the Jada Kisses, the Meek Mills, the Jay-Z's, the Nazis, you know what I mean? Um, his first, his mixtape, 2020, Make Sure You Kill Me, closes with Quarantine Tales, which is a breathless eight minute reflection of the street life. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know Sue Surf is a person that towards the end of his freedom, he was working on making changes. He was, he moved out. He wasn't in the city as much no more. He was moving like a businessman. He was creating different business opportunities and ventures and doing things for himself. 
and his family, you know what I'm saying? So when you have a life-changing event that takes you out of the streets, you will hope that when he comes back, he's stronger, you know what I'm saying? And he builds from this and he learns from this, you know what I'm saying? I'm not one that's here to speculate or bring anything extra to it. I'm just gonna let you know that he was sentenced to five years, he's getting time served, and he should be home. Uh, his, his, some of his peoples had tweeted, you know what I'm saying? They've been talking about the situation uh, online, his manager, uh, Qua Bellamy, had tweeted, uh, my, my lawyer and my daughter birthday now, he family. Uh, Rock has said, me and Lil Bro Chess was there for surf. Shug was there, Bees was there, the rest of y'all wasn't there. Y'all don't know, y'all just tweeting and talking. Home sooner than later, don't blink. You know what I'm saying? A lot of other people were celebrating the return of the gun titles leader and URL superstar. Kishi Gotti said, a day away from your loved ones is too long, but five instead of 30 is a blessing and a huge W. If you know the system is crooked, already walk one down, you're going to do the rest with ease. You'll get back with your family soon. Sue Surf, free the wave. You know what I'm saying? And um, just a lot of other people were celebrating and doing congratulatory tweets. And I think that with this particular situation, when he comes back, he's wiser and he can learn from, you know, the, the situation overall. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that is paramount. You know what I'm saying? When regardless of what had happened, and you know, we all make mistakes, nobody's perfect, and life goes on. You know what I'm saying? So for all of the folks that have been asking, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's not in tune, because some people will be like, oh, well this, it's all online. It's on a lot of websites. There are a lot of blogs. I definitely wanted to, you know, let the system, let the algorithm do its thing. I saw some articles on it. I read some articles on it. But I must say, my thoughts, my prayers, and my well wishes are to Sue Surf and his family, because regardless, at the end of the day, I don't want him back outside to fulfill your battle rap fantasy. You know what I'm saying? To see him versus this person. Or see, I want him to be back out to be a successful man, entrepreneur, family man, father. He's got a daughter that's out here. And to be able to put an end to a chapter of something like this. And I hope that it works out. All right, so uh, here's the deal. I, I, I've been getting a lot of information. I've been hearing a lot of things about this whole situation with Averb and Pete. You know what I'm saying? Their situation or whatever their issue is has nothing to do with me. Verb has said it more than once. He's went in spaces. He's tweeted about it. He's talked about it. And, it, and I don't understand how if someone tells you it's not him, he has nothing to do with it. It's not him. You guys, there's just a feeble amount, a feeble few that will believe that Vodafly actually did something like this. Let me break it down for you. So I'm on TV. I blog. I got a clothing line, I got kids, and you think that I really have time to like reel and fish information from Pete to give to Verb. I believe what we're talking about, this is whole shit, man. I told Verb, Verb, the first time I ever spoke to Verb was yesterday. And I, if, you, if we need to pull accounts or whatever the case may be, the first time I ever spoke to Verb in my life was yesterday. Because I said, yo, like what the fuck is going on with this? Like, yo, what is this about? Because I don't even know what you got, I ain't heard what they got, I ain't heard none of this. Like, so he tells me, you know, Vada has nothing to do with you, woo 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 this is, this is him versus them, you know what I'm saying? This is their war. But I got another phone call last night from an individual that's trying to get me to call P. And I'm like, for what? Like, the nerve of you. <laughs> but you that's know, like, disrespect. That's why? Why do we need to call him for? You are spewing, you are helping facilitate people to spew a lie on my name and you want me to call someone. We will never talk. What do we need to talk for? Somebody told a lie one day. We will never talk in life, you know what I'm saying? I think it's highly disrespectful to button mash and just call every single blog. I got calls from multiple bloggers, texts from multiple bloggers that are like, did you egging them on to speak about this? And as a man, if it was that serious, you should jump in front of a camera. You should talk about it. You should address it. Call who you need to call, do what you need to do. Ain't nothing happening. No money, no beers, no no partying, no sections, nothing. You put me and mine on a motherfucking flyer, nigga, get me everything. And if you can't, don't play with me. Not oh, oh solo it. One nigga, bring two niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is that about? Like, I understand. And the bottom line is, I understand I blog, I understand I'm on TV, I understand I got 50 million views, and I understand I didn't need your help to do it. I get it. I was, and we're going to get to that too, because that messed up a lot of my relationships, because I was such a great flexer, people thought I had money before I had it. But let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I, once I got the Rolex, 
And I was like, yo, this is crazy. Now, I know, I get it. I know it don't seem well and it don't feel well when you see me on your TV sitting up there with the artists that you, well, you don't work with them because, you know, you work with Crucible niggas, but you see me with the artists from, you. I know, I know, I know, I know, because y'all won't even promote them. So I know that, you know, but my thing is this, is it's sad, you know what I'm saying, that more than, not even him, he, the person that called me last night to tell me to call you wasn't the first person. The other person called me like a day or two ago. And he's like, yo, he's, he's saying if I'd have got my number, he could hit me. Why am I calling you? There's nothing to talk about. Fever, please, get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in you in a position to do what you do as an executive, you know what I mean? You are an executive of a company. You're the one that finds all the artists and finds the talent. You got Norm's job. You should be happy in your life. There's no reason why you should be looking through the rearview mirror mad at what I got going on. Recruiting people. I'm hearing about people getting tickets to come to your events and all of that stuff just to hate on me. Like, bro, it is not that serious. I'm like, oh. Um... The only time I'm ever going to speak about this again is right now because I, it, it's, it's keep going on. They started this on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we still hearing about this. He recruiting all kind of people, people that have done everything, that have took money from Pat State fam, all this stuff, just to hate on me. Talk about it. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. You don't want me to expose you. People that I don't even mention, I don't even see, I don't know about, we don't move in the same wavelength. My views is way up here, they views is in the dirt. All to talk about me, put my name in their titles, chase clout, I got no more free clout to give out. I'm sorry. I got no more free clout to give out. So I'm just going to put it all out there and just leave it for what it is, man. Every blogger they, that he knows is calling. His man's on his phone texting and calling everybody. I swear to my kids. I done got phone calls from four or five bloggers in one week. Text, calls, all of this stuff. And ask how many have I called. Ask how many have I called. Zero. Because the truth don't need no help. I don't need no help. SP ain't been here all week. I gave him the whole week off and paid him. Because I don't need help for the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need no help. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I had to take a bunch of, I had to take some notes because my, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to forget nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and like I said, the crash dummies are, like, let's say if I, let's say, because one time I had to talk, me and him had a conversation because I said something online and he wasn't feeling it. So he reached out to a third party to have a conversation, for us to have a conversation. It was no mercy. I don't even care at this point. No mercy reached out to me to have a three-way conversation with him because he knew he can't call me and I wouldn't talk to him. So we talked, we squashed the issue, and we went our separate ways, you know what I'm saying? And he was very angry in the joint. And I was like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, you say what you want about me, I say what I want about you, but you want to take it out to the street because of what? Like, you lose your life, I lose my life, and what? Is it going to be blogs, clickbait, titles? I'm like, bro, it's not that serious, you know what I'm saying? You hate on me, you don't like me, I get it. But bro, this is sick and it's twisted. So let's keep going. Verb said more than once, it wasn't me. It was not me. I have nothing to do with it. The first time I ever spoke to him was yesterday, right? Um, I didn't even have his number. So uh, why is Rosenberg Raw on his super stream talking about a conversation that you had about Ryder? And he didn't say nothing about me. I have nothing to do with that. So this is more, more, more situations where an artist feels disrespected because y'all run around calling them bitches and hoes and downplaying them and downplaying their talent. You ain't ever rapped a lick in your life. Why are you even talking about people like that? Like, and people are more mad about something that I didn't do than the person who's actually saying it or the person who has it. This shit is crazy. So let's go further. Mike P, same story. He said he, he was on the stream the other day, say, yo, you could you call P, you put the phone down, walk away, get Chinese food, and come back, and he's just still rambling and rambling, talking about every he talks to everybody. It makes no sense at all. You know what I'm saying? So I, and, and you telling me to have them to call me, I'm like, bro, <laughs> why? Like, what do I need to call? I don't want to call. So this is what we're gonna do. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because this is getting sick. I don't want to call you. I don't want you to text me. I don't want you to contact me through a third party. I damn near have to put a no contact order on this nigga because he will go through another party, go through another party, go through another party to try to talk to me for what? What kind of shit is here? And I haven't seen this nigga since 2017. This is a nigga who I have not seen face to face since 2017. My brother Showtime SP went to Summer Madness last year. I was like, I ain't going. You good. I'm good. I ain't even want him to go. He went anyway. Who he saw? Who did he see? Let's play swear to God. Who did he see there? He saw you there. What did you go up to him and talk to him about? Yo, what's up with Vada, man? Why he's on that spooky stuff? Tell him to give me a call. 
You said to give you a call. You want everybody to have me give you a call. I don't want to talk. That's the problem. You know, I'm telling you like I'm telling Verb, you got something played. Y'all put all y'all stuff on the table. Just play it and let it be over with. But don't he said, she said, they said like, bro, we're not doing that, man. We men. As grown men, we can stand in front of a camera, we can stand in public, and we can speak. It's my fifth blog this week. And he ain't said a single word. Y'all gotta stop that shit, man. So um, shout out to the artists, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna take it out on y'all crucible artists. If you want me to recap your battles, I told Dice I'll recap his. Holla at me. If you tired of the CEO being all up in the videos. And one other thing I'd like to say, any artist out there wanna be an artist and wanna stay a star, don't want to, don't want to have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the video, all on the record, dancing, come to death row. And trying to take your shine and downplay you like you ain't no artist or you ain't got no skills because they emotional about you. Holla at me, hit me up. I won't even put your information out. I'll recap your battles and I will help push you black men to success. But this right here is a mess. Please do not reach out to me through nobody. I don't want to talk to you. If you contact me about this man, you are getting blocked. Don't contact me about him. I don't want to talk to him. This nigga is sick. I'm telling you. He's sick because he's going through the hellfire and the criticism and people blaming him and calling him and, and getting at him for doing these artists the way he's doing them. So he wants me to be his scapegoat when I don't work with this man, I don't be around him, I don't hang out with him. I haven't seen him since 2017. And these are the moves that's being pulled. Calls behind the scenes, the bloggers are calling me. Tell me they not. Do I need to show my phone? Do I need, to, like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't even like getting into all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? But. If you would send Rosenberg Raw's conversation to his opponent to try to sabotage the event, sabotage the artist, and sabotage the battle, what would make you think you didn't record a conversation with me? And then when the hell is on you, you start calling around to the bloggers and playing and trying to make it seem like they heard audio, audio, audio. You washed. They did them just like that, you hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hear it. But yeah, he got chopped all the way up. Like this shit is weird and crazy. All because I'm on TV. I could speak for myself. I do not need SP. He has I did this specifically, him not being here. Because I want to oh, he help me and I don't want no help. I got this myself. I don't need help, man. Against all odds though, man, I do it, man. I, this is the realest shit I ever wrote. I will do it on my own, bro, because Lies don't need help. I don't need to call somebody to speak for me. I don't need to call somebody and let them hear. I don't have to do none of that. It's just me. All I want to say is, one of my niggas bring two niggas. Then two niggas go get three. <laughs> just me. And he calling for help, man. Everybody, bro, they calling me, telling me they spoke to you. They telling me. That's the thing, you be trusting people that's literally calling me, literally hitting my phone, telling me. For what, some tickets to an event? <laughs> a stage fact? <laughs> so my issue ain't even with none of them. Like, I'm not even talking about none of them 2,000 view dudes no more. I don't have nothing to say about them niggas. Say what they want. I got nothing to say about them. Because they don't do more views than me. <laughs> Nah, I be clowning niggas, but I still speak facts though. I do. I'm. I, I get more views than you niggas. I'm better than you niggas. It is what it is. They don't got more subscribers than me. They're not stronger than me. They can't beat me up. The car not better. The house not bigger. I can keep going. We can do a front door challenge. I can open up my front door, show you how I live. You open up your front door, show me how y'all live. I can walk around my whole crib. You know what I'm saying? Like. Why are you trying to remove me from my realm of normality, the things that I normally do? I don't want to keep doing, addressing this every day. I really don't. I heard somebody was complaining, he had shades on in the video, he hiding his eye. Like, bro, why are y'all so invested? And then, let me talk to the crash test dummies real quick. Why are y'all so pressed? Like, why are y'all so, uh, why are you so engaged and eager? Bro, you need a ticket? Do y'all need a ticket? Just hit me on the side, bro. Just hit me up, I swear to God. I will buy you a ticket to Homecoming. I will. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Bye. So you don't have to go out like this, please. Because y'all look crazy. When you look at the comments under the joint, well, why you saying you heard it? Why y'all ain't playing? Why you ain't playing? When you gonna play? <laughs> so yeah, this is the last time I'm gonna speak about this.
Uh, I'm not going back and forth with anybody. If P wants to jump in front of a camera himself and explain himself, he did it when it came to Ryder. He was all up in his videos. So if you want to jump in front, you won't you explain what your situation is and why are you talking crazy about the artist? Why are you dragging their names? Why are you slaying? Why are you calling them bitches and hoes? And why are you trying to sabotage ARP's events? Why are you sending his text? Why don't you address all of that stuff on your own? Don't tell me what Ryder did in 2015, 18, 17. None of that shit is 20, 20, 21, 22, 23. Y'all try to move the goalpost all the way back to the one yard line and we all the way over here at the goal line. All the shit that y'all do in between, y'all try to ignore and try to talk about me. And, I, and all I've done is elevate and excel and build myself, build my, build my life, my family, my brother Showtime SP. And this is the thanks I get. I put niggas on TV. When I, I'm gonna tell y'all something before I get out of here. When I first got hit up for Fox News, right? They only wanted to work with me. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to convince, like Showtime SP is my partner, blah, 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 blah. Like I was not even gonna do it unless he was involved. I wanted to bring artists. I wanted to, you know, highlight artists, bring artists easy. Big K, Goods, Tay Rock, Geechee. I got another artist coming and you know what I'm saying? And I'm just helping, trying to push the culture. Do things that are bigger for battle rap. And this is the type of stuff that I have going on. People that are actually clicking up. <laughs> Like Voltron, all for one man. But I'm done with it, you know what I'm saying? Salute to every single one of y'all. I'm not going back and forth with you. You can say what you want. Dear bloggers, if you contact me to try to be a third party liaison or whatever the case may be, you're getting blocked. Don't contact me about that man. I don't want to talk to him. He, he's sending people to try to get me to call and it ain't happening. Not now or not ever. I will never speak to him again in life, even in passing, because that type of shit is wild. You got people talking about, oh, you did this, you did that. Not you playing with people's names and playing with people's family, playing with the way people make money, playing with the way people get on and business ventures, titles on the internet, you playing with people. So, so since y'all doing that, I'm gonna remove myself from it. Verb already told you more than once it wasn't me. You could recruit whoever you want. You could tell the people you roll with, whatever you want. But you and I know what's going on, I'm out. I'm serious, don't call me, I don't want to talk.